Bernice Bobs Her Hair. It's underway at the Lyric at the Plaza Theater in the Plaza District. I am joined and happy to be joined by Celeste Rose and David Dabin joining us. Uh, they are stars of this show. Very nice to meet you guys. Thanks for stopping by the studio this morning. Thanks for having us. Quick interview, then we will hear them perform a selection from the show. Again, Bernice Bobs Her Hair. It's underway through Saturday, October 24th. Tickets start at $25. You can find those online at... Um, LyricTheaterOKC.com. Enough of the business. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. Great to meet you. How'd you guys get into the theater business? Celeste, we'll start with you. Yeah, um, I've I've done theater for a long time since I was a little kid. I went to arts high school and then I uh, pursued it in college as well, and then moved to the city after that. So I've been in New York City, that city. The for, city. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just assume it's the city um, for like three years. And now I found myself in Oklahoma. Now you were from California, right? Yes. And you decided you wanted to go to school in New York. In, yeah, in New York uh, to follow my musical theater passion um, and to learn about East Coast weather, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> to kind of like infiltrate that side of the world. So. I'm headed to California this weekend for a conference. Where were you at in California? Southern California. Southern California. So California. like LA area. So pretty nice weather and then oh. you moved to Ithaca. Oh yeah, yeah. It was perfect all the time. <laughs> had to revamp the wardrobe at that point, right? Yes, that's true, definitely. And David? Uh, I, I got into theater. My sister played piano growing up and used to dance. Uh, and so she was, she was a big inspiration. I didn't, I didn't quite know uh, what I was going to do, but I knew that I wanted to be in the arts. Uh, and I started off as a dancer and self-taught on the piano. Uh, and through kind of just continually creating, I, I fell into um, going, uh, writing music and uh, orchestrating and yeah, that's that's how I ended up. Does your sister college. still play? Is she still no, in music business? No, no, not at all. Not, not at, all. at all. Yeah, I have a cousin who, who's uh, a singer and songwriter. And you're out of uh, Boston, right? Yeah. But, but then it, the same thing, decided you want to go to New York for school, mm -hmm. for training. And it's funny, we we didn't know each other before coming here, but we, we realized that we actually live 10 blocks away from each other. So close. In New York, right? In New now. York. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You guys should totally catch up once this is over, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> we will. We'll All right. Um, let's see. What brings you to Oklahoma City? It's this guy, Adam Guan. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What's the story there? Yeah. I met Adam. Uh, I, I did some orchestrations. Uh, there's a singer. Her name's Audra McDonald. And she sings a song of his called I'll Be Here. And she recorded it on her recent album. Uh, and so I, I got to orchestrate that for, for Adam. I've also done other uh, works of his, and this is the, this is the first full-length show I've done uh, for Adam. And um, yeah, it's, it's a new work, and we've gotten to, to collaborate that way. So he tells you guys that he's working on Bernice Bob's Her Hair, world premiere musical. Mm -hmm. Are you guys interested in, in joining up with him on this, this show, right? Yeah. So that brings you to Oklahoma City back in September, and how have rehearsals gone, and how have the shows gone so far? It's been great. Um, it's been really fun getting to do like a new musical out of town, like in Oklahoma, because usually with new stuff like this, you get a lot of workshops in New York, but it's on a smaller scale. So this has been so cool getting to do a full production at this um, level. And like coming in day one, the set was already done and like we were already having costume fittings and wig fittings, which was just so exciting to have this much um, like energy and time and money put into a full production. So it's been so wonderful and it's been really cool getting to create a new piece and kind of like change things and songs have been cut and, and things have been added. So it's been really fun. Celeste stars as Bernice, David, you're on stage as well. You're the musical director and orchestrator mm -hmm. of this. How is it being that on the stage? And, and what sort of tweaking have you guys had to do over the rehearsals and then leading into the shows? It's great being on stage. So often, uh, you're, you're, as a musician, you're put in the pit. You're down the pit uh, in front of the stage. Or sometimes <laughs> even backstage. And, and so there's no chemistry in terms of uh, the audience getting to, to feel the, that, that uh, music come to life. And because we're on stage with the actors, um, there, there is this magical um, chemistry that we have. Uh, and yeah, that's a big part. And then in terms of tweaking, um, because it's a new work and it's never been done, uh, so much is on the page. And then once it, once it becomes three-dimensional, you start to realize, oh, th what happens if we put this here or cut this or trim this down or made this longer? And so we, we've had different songs that have been in, out, mm -hmm. scenes cut, new scenes. Is that hard? Um, hard on the actors? Hard on you guys to, I, I could see where a touring band could say, okay, let's revise the set list, but <laughs> mm -hmm. this is a little bit different, right? Yeah, I mean, it's hard 
for sure when you have when you've like memorized something and mm -hmm. you kind of like have that set in your body and then even day day of certain shows now we've frozen it so it's like it's there but for our first previews there were days where like we'd come in and they'd be like you know what we don't want to do that anymore so just cut these lines and like jump to the song here and this blocking will change and so then you'd go downstairs and be like, okay, now I'm <laughs> now getting what? in a costume and I have to remember when I get to that scene that that's what happens. But it all went really smoothly. We had so. one, one situation where we, um, there was this, this scene and the scene and the song were a little similar. And uh, mm -hmm. Michael Barron, uh, director, right before we were having issues trying to figure out like what's, what's the best way to connect them. And after we kind of made some tweaks, we, we were getting ready for the show and he, he had a, an aha moment and was like, we just need to cut the scene and, and start with the song. And literally, we, we, he ran backstage, the three of us met, and he's like, can we do that tonight? And we all were like, yes, let's go for it. So we, we took the risk and we, we cut one whole scene right before, yes. um, before going. And that, that was a little <laughs> nerve wracking, but because we were all so prepared, it was easy to kind of feel each other's energy and make sure that mm -hmm. um, it went well and tell that story. It's because you guys are pros. <laughs> I remember we interviewed Mr. Barron a couple times this year on various shows and, and previewing the season. He was really excited about this one just because it was something new, something mm -hmm. that you know could, could kind of grow and change as it went. Now, And he's wanted to do this show for a while. He, um, he got to see it. At, there's a big conference where they showcase new musicals. Uh, and so this is one that he's been, as you said, he's been so excited about. And so yeah. it's, it's been great to, to see that come to life. It was based on a story from F. Scott Fitzgerald back in the 20s. He wrote it. It was published, uh, I believe, him to his sister in the Saturday Evening Post. And uh, it's revamped a little bit. You're visiting your cousin, I believe, now mm -hmm. in the big city. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to, you have long hair. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about the wardrobe change for the hair. How's yeah. that work? Yeah, well, I have like four different wigs. So um, that's fun. We, uh, <laughs> they're all really fast changes. Some of them are like less than 20 seconds. You like close the door and run off stage and throw off the wig and then like put the other wig right on. So um, we have like one long wig in the beginning and then a updo wig and then two different shorter wigs. So it's, it's pretty crazy, but the wig, the wig ladies are just, they're wonderful. Wig ladies. <laughs> the wig ladies, yeah, I guess hair team. <laughs> Waiting off stage are the wig ladies. Yeah, they now, know, now. literally they wait and they do it really fast and they pin you on and sometimes we don't even get pinned on, you just pray that it's not gonna fall off. Better stay in good graces with them so they're not pinning yeah. like too hard or anything. <laughs> now what about your regular hair to begin with? Is it yeah. up the entire time so yeah. they're just slapping wigs on? Yeah, we do pin curls which are just these little like, you twist your hair and it takes takes a little while but then you put a wig cap on, so you do that every day. Um, just like a pretty traditional thing. I know nothing about that, do yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> nope, no. Yeah. All right, very good. Bernice bobs her hair through Saturday, October 24th. You can uh, buy those tickets online at Lyric Theater OKC. You guys are going to perform for us now, so mm -hmm. we will stop down and look forward to that. Go get some pizza, maybe a cheese sandwich. <laughs> the Plaza District has fantastic food and, and yes. all the other things we have in Midtown and Downtown. Welcome to Oklahoma City. I know you're both from out of town. You've been here for a few weeks, but it's great to have you guys and continue Thanks. success. Thank, Thank you. you. Why are the words in my head, but not on my tongue? I have lips, and I have a mouth, I have breath in my lungs. When will my clumsy old feet get in time with the band? The melody swells, but my shoes, they ignore my I wish they'd stop talking, that the band would stop playing. I wish this night would end, and then I could start all over again. I'd say all the right things. 
times I would be inspired Finally I would be the one dance tired Put these boots to use for once Spin me around Dance with me, all of me Perfectly lost in the sound All the boys will want to know me All the girls will wish they were me And I would be so kind to them I'd be just like my and before the night is over, when the band takes ten, I'll meet that certain boy, and we'll dance again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Oh, I wish she'd stop talking. I wish she'd stop flirting. I wish this night would end. But then, I'm always starting over. And over and over and over again.